Well, Keith, it was a bit of a case of too little, too late there in the first half, ultimately cost the three points there. Yeah, it was uh, disappointing. Um, you know, I thought we could have nicked a point there at the end, probably should have done in terms of the you know the couple of chances we had near the end. But yeah, we just gave ourselves too much to do. You know, set plays played a massive part in that and. It's something that I think we've been very good at uh, up to this point and today we just weren't quite there and we knew that threat and, and we didn't deal with it and found ourselves you know, ultimately 3-0 down at the break. So you do that in anywhere in this division, it's going to be you know, a tough afternoon. Yeah, you mentioned it's something we've not really been doing this season, very uncharacteristic, but it was almost a case as well of three mistakes, three goals. Ross County were pretty clinical at points. Yeah, they were. You know, they took their chance as well, absolutely. But... You know, we shouldn't have given them the chance in the first place. Um, as I said, it is something that we've pride ourselves on. The manager's very meticulous in his preparation in that uh, regard. Um, and as I, as I said, I think it is something that we've been good up to this point. Um, you know, but it wasn't there today. And I think it shows today, you know, MD was at the match. I think the general flow of the match. And I think we were probably on top for most of it. But, you know, if you don't deal with, with, with uh, set plays, um, or if you do deal with it the way we did today, you know, you're going to lose lose matches. It's as simple as that. So, you know, we get back to the training ground, we work hard on it again, as we always do. Uh, and, you know, we look forward to the Aberdeen game now. It almost sounds silly to ask, Keith, but is it all the combination of the mistakes and perhaps the fact that a couple of decisions right towards the end there went against us that's culminated in this frustration post-match? Yeah, I think so, because you know, it was a genuine feeling we were going to get back into it. Yeah, and I think you know a couple of decisions along the way maybe just hampered there. I think Elliot's pretty much cleaned through there at the end as well and gets brought back for a fill, which you know didn't look like a fill to me. Um, but yeah, you know, as I said, we just gave ourselves too much to do, and it's that's disappointing from our uh, in our part because you know how hard we work in these aspects of the game. So it's disappointing. Um, you know the players, as I said, they did bounce back at half time. I think they showed you know a good bit of character and, and what we can do. But as I said, it's just about not giving teams a start like, like we did today. I'm looking forward as well. Is it a case of taking the second half positives forward and try to just bounce back from this straight away? Absolutely. You know, there's nothing else for it. No point feeling sorry for ourselves. You know, we're going to bus. We get back down the road. We'll analyse uh, you know the game as we do meticulously, both you know in a positive sense and the things we can do better. And we go again on Monday. It's as simple as that. It's what we've done. Regardless Regardless win, lose or draw this season, we, we just keep working. So, you know, it's constantly working, trying to improve every single player in that dressing room. Uh, and, you know, again, we'll, we'll just get back in, down at DL on, on Monday and, and start that process again. Okay, if you appreciate your time, thanks for that. Okay, thank you.